What you need to know about lumpy skin disease. Joseph the farmer was checking on his cattle in the pasture when he noticed that some of his animals were behaving strangely. They seemed very tired and slow. They weren't eating a lot, and when he took a closer look, he noticed that they had lumps on their skin. Some of the lumps had scabs on them, and where the scabs had fallen off, the wounds had become infected with fly larvae. Worried that his animals could possibly spread disease to the rest of his herd, Joseph called Ben the veterinarian for help. When Ben arrived, he examined the animals and found that, together with the lumps on their skin, they had a high fever and enlarged lymph nodes. Some even had fluid coming from their eyes and noses. He quickly suspected that the cattle were suffering from lumpy skin disease, or LSD. Ben explained to Joseph that LSD is a virus that affects cattle and domestic buffalo, but is harmless to humans. It is mostly spread through mosquitoes, ticks, and biting flies. Ben advised Joseph to separate all of his healthy animals from the unhealthy ones, as LSD can also spread through contaminated soil, water, and feed. Infected cows can even transmit the virus to their unborn calves. Calves can become infected through their mother's milk and LSD-infected sores on their teats. Ben said LSD can survive in the environment for several months. So, he and Joseph were careful to disinfect their clothing, shoes, and equipment after assessing the animals. Joseph asked Ben what they should do next. Ben said that LSD can severely impact milk production, as well as the quality of the animal's meat and hides. So, it was very important to contain the virus as quickly as possible to minimize the impact on farmers' livelihoods. Ben sent samples of the animal's blood and lesions for testing at the state laboratory and alerted the relevant authorities about a possible outbreak of LSD. When the laboratory confirmed the diagnosis of LSD, Ben the veterinarian called an emergency meeting with all Joseph's neighbors and other cattle and buffalo farmers in the area. He said that everyone had a role to play in keeping their herds safe from LSD and reporting any suspected cases as quickly as possible. The veterinary authorities developed a vaccination control program, a community-wide plan to help manage the virus. The farmers all agreed to vaccinate their healthy animals and to spray them with special insect repellents. The farmers also agreed to manage their pastures by reducing the number of large water puddles and manure heaps where mosquitoes, ticks, and flies could breed. Their collaboration and prevention efforts ensured that very few cattle became infected with LSD during the peak season. This meant that Joseph and his neighbors were able to produce enough milk products, meat, and hides from the healthy animals to support their families. Thanks to the awareness and quick action of Joseph and his neighbors, the lives of thousands of animals were protected and farmers' livelihoods remained safe. Take action. Early reporting saves lives and livelihoods.